We have a question from Chris Arts. Hey, Chris. Hi, Robbie and Christy. You inspired me to build an Unraid server, which I now have up and running. Congratulations. I used version 4.5, free three drive version, and my OS <laughs> is Linux Mint 8. X64. Unfortunately, I can't see the array in Nautilus, and I'm not sure what the next step is. Can you help with what I assume is getting Samba set up? Thanks, Robbie. First of all, congratulations. <laughs> what a cool piece of software to be checking out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to <clears throat> my Unraid box. Have you, have, you looked at, have you looked at it so far? Like you've logged in and you've seen this screen? If, if they're joining in the chat room, maybe we can... That was Chris, right? Yes, Chris. If Chris you're joining likes. us in the chat room, can you just can you just let us know? Love to know that uh, that you're there and and can answer my questions. Because I think that's going to help a lot if I know kind of where you got to. You've got the system set up, right? You've got your drives working, so that tells me that we're at this point. Drives are up, right? So what we're going to do first of all in your Unraid box, go to shares, and we want to create uh, a share. This is a network uh, share, so we're going to create this. I'm going to call this, um, let's just say, Chris, okay? So now if I go apply, that creates a user share on my Unraid box. And there's many different ways that you can access Samba from your, uh, from your Mint uh, desktop. One of the things you're going to want to look at is how to mount a Samba share via FS tab. Because by doing that, you can have that uh, file share automatically load as a mount point every time you boot up your, your Linux computer. That's a cool way to do things. And that's usually how I set it up. You can also mount them to your Windows boxes as well. <clears throat> so I'm going to uh, just log into that share. Here we go. Here's how I can do it, Chris. Sorry about that. It's been a while since I've created shares. When I first set up my Unraid box, I completely created everything. I haven't touched it since. That's how reliable it is. Literally, I haven't touched it since. Down at the bottom of that page, pardon me, up at the top is, is different. That's, that's something else that we'll look at another day. Down at the bottom is where I want to create those shares, okay? Beg your pardon. Uh, so share name is going to be Chris, okay? Comments is not needed. Allocation method, refer to my first video, the uh, creation of the uh, system in order to get that. Minimum free space, you can leave. You can leave all this stuff if you want. That's fine, okay? Add share. That's going to create the share. Yay, I've done it correctly. Uh, so then I'll be able to browse for that. So to gain access to that share now, all I have to do is get the IP address of my server, which in my case is 10.0.0.5 slash Chris, and I've got this empty folder. Notice that I've put smb colon slash slash 10.0.0.5. So that's the name of the server, the IP address of the server, and then slash the share name that I gave it. Okay, but SMB, Samba, is your protocol. So now I've got that folder up on my screen. I can create folders. I can create documents. I can paste things into it. Uh, if it had media in there, I could uh, play the media, etc., etc. So that's how you get it from there. You'll notice that as I did that, it also placed a link over on the left-hand side, basically a, a quick mount point, so that anytime I want access to that, I can just click on it and it goes. Uh, I can also bookmark that. So if I wanted to, I could add a bookmark, and then that share will always be accessible to me, um, even if it hasn't been mounted yet. I can just click on that bookmark, uh, which will end up being placed down here, and then you'll have instant access. 